In this video, I show you how to update the firmware of the ICOM 7300 while also preserving the settings of the radio. First, insert the SD card into the radio. Now that it's mounted, go to Menu, I want Set, yeah, SD card, and we want to format. Go to format, format OK, yes. And uh, keep in mind that formatting uh, will erase anything that's on the card. So use an empty card. Or if you already have the card formatted for the radio, you can skip this step. Next, we want to back up our current settings in the radio. So scroll all the way up to Save Settings. We'll tap that. And we want a new file. We'll just uh, keep the uh, file name there. Enter. Yes. So it's completed. So now go down to Unmount. Yes. Now we can remove the card and insert it into our computer. Now once we have the SD card mounted our, to our computer, we want to back up the settings that we saved to the computer. This step isn't mandatory, but it protects us in case we make any mistakes later on, so that at least we can recover our settings manually. So open the SD card in your file explorer and copy the settings file somewhere on your computer. We go to IC7300, setting, and we want to copy somewhere on the computer. Now we need to download the new firmware file. We are here on the ICOM Japan website and we need to search for 7300 right here. 7300. And now that brings up all the files that pertain to the 7300. And we're after the firmware. So we click here. Now we scroll down to the bottom, click Agree, and Download. We'll just save that. Okay, now that we have it downloaded, we have the zip file, and we want to extract the contents of that zip file. And so we're looking for 7300.dat file. Now we take that file, and we're going to copy it into the IC7300 folder in our SD card. And we can see it right there. And so now we can go ahead and eject the card and insert it back into the radio. Now back on the radio, we want to go to Menu, Set, SD Card, Firmware Update. We'll scroll down. Yes. We select the file. Just make sure that we don't uh, restart the radio or lose power or anything. Do we wish to start the firmware update? Yes, we'll hold this for one second. Now it starts the update. Once the update's done, the radio will restart on its own. Once the update has completed, we can go in and check that it's actually changed over to the new firmware. So we'll go to Menu, Set, want Others, and information version and now we can see that the main CPU version is 1.41 which is the version that we updated to so it was successful and it's in there we're good to go now if your settings are still there then you're done now in the event that your settings are not carried over and after the update uh, what we can do is restore from that file that is still on the SD card and we've also backed it up to our computer hopefully and to do that, we would go to Menu, Set, SD Card, Load Setting, select the file. We want All, and it's going to say the new Ref Adjust setting will be saved. And what we do is we'd hit Yes, and then it's going to uh, restore those settings. Now, I don't need to do that on this one. My settings were there, so I'm going to leave that alone. But that's what you would do is you'd hit Yes. I'm going to hit No, and I'm going to go back. If you do restore the settings after you complete that restore you want to turn the radio off and turn it back on again and your settings should now be restored. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.